What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Dean, aka The Blue Crusader, and today's video is going to be a real complex, in-depth, ultimate guide, how to install Grand Theft Auto 5 or GTA 5 mods. I'm going to be walking you through each kind of mod, so we're on GTA5mods.com right now, I'm going to show you how to install vehicles, weapons, script-based mods, player model mods, so ones that replace your player model with a different model, map mods, and much more. So, in this video I'm going to be covering everything and we're going to be using a few different tools. So first we're going to go to the vehicle mods, I'm going to show you how to download and install the vehicle mods first of all. And I'm just going to download a random vehicle mod, so this ambulance, I'm just going to download this just as an example. This should work with all vehicles, because for the most part, most vehicles are the same. So I'm going to download and install this. The first thing you're going to need is a tool called OpenIV, so you want to download this tool and you want to install this first. Now it's really simple and easy to install, it's very simple so I don't really need to show you. But download and install OpenIV, the link will be in the description below, and then go through the settings to set it up and then I'm going to walk you through what to do next. So we've downloaded our vehicle mod and we have our vehicle here and there is a readme in it so obviously if we want to replace it it does tell us exactly how to do that. So what we want to do is we want to open open IV which we've just installed so I'm going to double click that on my desktop and wait for it to load and you want to click windows for GTA 5 which means that we're going to obviously manage the windowed mode. What you want to do is you want to go to edit mode here so we can actually install items and drag them in so you want to go to update and then you want to go to x64 dlc packs and then patch date 19 ng and then dlc.rpf and then what you want to do is it says the archive you're editing is not located in the mods folder so you want to click show in mods folder and this will take you to a mods folder version which you can edit without breaking the game now if you want to know how to make this mods folder so you don't have to touch your core files you go to tools and then you go to asi manager and it comes up with a little box and it allows you to install a few different things so you want to install the ASI loader first because that allows you to load a lot of mods which you can't do without it and then you want to install openiv.asi so basically what this does is it allows you to have a mods folder where you install all of your future mods that replace weapons and vehicles into that new mods folder so you don't have to meddle or touch your original GTA 5 folder so you don't break your game so make sure to click install on both these and then you can close out of that menu and then you want to go to mods update x64 DLC packs patch day 19ng dlc.rpf x64 levels gta5 and then vehicles.rpf and now we have a group of vehicles now we can mess around with these like i said because it's in the mods folder we can touch these now what you want to do is you want to drag all of these files from the raw folder the ambulance.yft ytd yft or whatever other files you've downloaded for your own custom vehicle you want to install and you want to drag them into here and they'll extract to a temporary folder and then they'll go straight into here so now we should have the ambulance files and then that's how to install the vehicle and next what you want to do is you want to go to your grand theft auto folder and then inside here there's an ELS folder so just drag the ambulance.xml into your GTA 5 folder and then that's already installed that's the ambulance that's how we installed the ambulance that mod is totally done so now we've installed a vehicle now we're going to go install a weapon so we're going to download just a single weapon replacer so i'm just going to download go to the most downloaded just to see what the best weapons are i'm going to download this silver baller which is animated this is the hitman weapon and it replaces the vintage pistol so this is a weapon replacer it will replace one of the weapons i'm going to click download and this is the next step we're going to download and install the weapon mod we're, which we're going to use open iv for as well so i've opened up in winrar over here so we have the weapon mod and we have our gta 5 folder here so in here you'll see that there is obviously a lot more weapons which we can actually replace so we replace all these files again in open iv so make sure if you want to install a weapon mod you have open iv installed opened and you have edit mode enabled by clicking the button so in open iv we're going to go back to the root folder where we started off in GTA 5 and you want to go to mods, update, x64, DLC packs, patch day 3ng, dlc.rpf and then you want to go to x64, models, cd images, weapons.rpf and now what we can do is we can edit 
all of the weapon files. So we should be able to find somewhere in here vintage pistol, which should be hidden here. As you can see, here we go, vintage pistol. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag these files in and we're going to replace the vintage pistol files. And they'll extract and go inside the folder. And then it's literally as simple as that. That's how easy it is to install a weapon mod. Now, each weapon mod you download will have instructions. Sometimes you might put them in a different folder, but for the most part, they're all gonna go in the exact folder that I've just showed you. Now, if you don't have a certain folder inside your mods folder, so for an example, if we don't have the patch day M3, blah, 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 in the mods folder, you can just go to the normal patch 3 folder. So you can just go, instead of going into mods and then update, you can go straight into update, x64, DLC packs, patch day 3 and G, dlc.rpf x64 levels and then when you click inside a folder it will usually give you a prompt to copy it over to the gta 5 mods folder so that that's how to get it into the mods folder in the first place so now we've installed a vehicle we've installed a weapon mod now we're going to jump on to how to install other mods so we're going to go to player replacer mods so a lot of people want to actually replace their player models so we're going to go on most downloaded and you'll see that the flash character is the most downloaded iron man mark 5 is one of the most downloaded i'm going to download this hd universal Carl Johnson model. Obviously, Carl Johnson is CJ from San Andreas. So, I'm going to download this player model and I'm going to try and replace it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this CJ folder and inside we have a few different files. We have cj.ymt, cj.yft, and what we can do is there's a specific way how to install this. So, now I'm going to skip a step and I'm going to jump to which mods you actually need to get all the rest of the mods working. So the first one is script hook. This is basically the most universal of mods that you need. You just go to script hook on devc.com. All the links for every separate requirement and mod will be below and just click download on the newest version. Most of the time it's up to date with the newest Grand Theft Auto as soon as the update comes out so you don't have to worry about it. Sometimes it might be outdated if the update for GTA 5 has just dropped but for the most part you don't have to worry. And then you need community script hook 5.net which we can just download from GTA 5 mods.com and it'll direct us to github.com where we can download this file too. Then the last one you need is native UI. This is basically a framework which actually allows you to use the different UI menu system from GTA 5 and let mods utilize it. So what we want to do is we want to open up all those zip files and I'm going to show you how to install each separate one. So you want to go to your GTA 5 folder in Steam or wherever it is in your program files. And in the scripts folder, what you want to do is you want to drop the native UI and XML and DLL and just dump them in the scripts folder like I have. That's how to install native UI. And then for scripthook.net, it's a different process. You want to go into your normal base directory. So just Grand Theft Auto 5 where your GTA 5 EXE is and you want to drop the scripthook.net files in here. Now you'll see that in this version, there's scripthook.net3, which I don't have. That's because I'm running a slightly older version to get some other mods which don't work with the newer version working. But what you would do is you'd highlight all these files and you drop them inside the GTA 5 folder. And that's how to install scripthook. The last one is just scripthook, the most basic, which you need, the most crucial. And you just go into the bin folder and you drag these inside the Grand Theft Auto folder, just like scripthook.net. One thing is though, is you don't need to drag in native trainer because that's just a menu trainer system which allows you to cheat in single player. You don't need that file to get it to work. You do need this though, dinput8.dll because that is an ASI loader as well I believe or it's some kind of file that you need to get the whole thing functioning. So all you need are these two files but you can also use the trainer if you want to use cheats in single player and you will just drag them into the GTA 5 folder. So the last file which we actually need is something called add-on peds and this is how we're going to get all the player models to work including the the Carl Johnson one. So add-on peds is basically a software you can use to use custom player models in game. So I'm going to click download and I'm going to show you just how to install it now. It has a bit of a complex setup so I am going to have to run you through the procedure. This is probably the most complex of all the mods but when you get it installed it's probably the most beneficial because you can install custom players and it just is super awesome when you get to players people like Iron Man and just mess around with the game. So we have a few files in here. We have the add-on peds editor. We have a few different things. So if I just 
go inside my GTA folder, I'm just going to make these windows a little bit smaller. So if I go inside my GTA folder, you'll see here, I have add-on peds editor in here, and I have add-on peds var and a few other files. So you want to drag these add-on peds vars.xml and add-on peds editor.exe, and you want to just drag them here inside your GTA folder. That's where you put those. Next up is scripts. You just go to your scripts folder. If you don't have it, create one. If this is the first time you're using mods, just create one called scripts. And you want to drag this ped selector folder from the raw file inside this scripts folder. This is actually the menu file, so this is what you use to actually load the player models in game. So that's the easy part out of the way. Now the next part is we're going to have to actually use OpenIV. So you want to open up OpenIV like we did before, and you want to go to the mods folder, and you want to go to update, x64, DLC packs, and you'll see at the bottom I have an add-on peds folder. Now this isn't here by default, so what you want to do is you want to click edit mode click yes and this allows you to drag things in so you want to go into the dlc packs folder in the add-on peds file that you downloaded and drag this add-on peds folder inside this dlc packs directory i just showed you how to get to in open iv then when you go in the folder you can go in dlc.rpf peds.rpf and you have loads of files now i've installed some custom ones like thanos and true king thor you can ignore these for the most part now i'm going to show you how to actually install the cj model or any custom player model into add-on Pets. Now, one thing we need to do before we do that is we need to edit one file, otherwise it won't work. So you want to go to GTA 5 mods update and then there's something called DLC list.xml. You want to right click on this and click edit. Now somewhere at the bottom you'll see that I have a line here that says DLC pack slash add on peds. This isn't here normally. This needs to be added at the bottom exactly how I've added it to actually get the mod to work. So what you can do is you can copy and paste this line for an example and then press enter below and then paste the line in and change it to add on peds. Obviously you only want one of these lines, but that's just an example to show you how to do it. And then you want to click save. Also make sure that these brackets or slashes are exactly the same direction as the other slashes, because otherwise it will not work as well because it's case sensitive. Press save and then now the whole mod will actually function. Next up, we're going to go to x64, DLC packs, add on peds, exactly where we were before, dlc.rpf, peds.rpf. And this is where we're going to drag all of the custom models we download as players. So we're going to go into the Carl Johnson mod that we just downloaded, which was the player model that I wanted to show you how to install. All you do is you drag the CJYMT and YFT inside this folder, and then it will put them at some place. As you can see, they're here now. And then you can also drag in this CJ Tats by default folder, and we'll drag this in here too. And then it should put the directory here. So now what we're going to do is this is the complex part, but I'm going to try and explain it to you. Go back to GTA 5 folder and the file we installed earlier, add on peds editor.exe, run that as administrator. And we're going to have to have OpenIV open for reference. So I'm going to drag this over here. And here we have add on peds editor. Now I have a few models here. It looks quite confusing, but just bear with me. I'm going to explain it to you. So this window here that I'm moving around is what we're using, what we just opened. Click peds, new ped, that stands for pedestrian. And the, the name of the model we just installed, cj.yft, cj.ymt, that's going to be the name of what goes in the model name. So type in the name of the model, whatever comes before yft and ymt on the files we just dragged in. So it's going to be called cj. Ped type is going to be male, because cj is obviously a male. Streamed is going to be false. So streamed means if it's in a folder or not. So if cj.yft was in a folder, we change stream to true, okay? So this, we actually did drag in a folder, cj tats by default in brackets. So that's gonna be a separate ped we're gonna actually add, and that's gonna be stream to true. So I'm gonna show you that after. So put stream to false, and then press add ped, depending on your situation. And then click new ped, and I'm gonna just use this folder to show you as an example. So I'm just gonna copy this folder name entirely, and paste it in there, and ped types mail, and and then streamed is going to be true because this model is actually in a folder and then press add ped all we have to do after that is just click rebuild and it'll say how many peds have been saved and now we can actually access them in game which i'll show you a little bit later in the menu so that's how to install custom player models which most people want to know when they watch these awesome videos of people playing as iron man playing as thor playing as all these really cool characters that's basically how to do it and how to install them next up is maps now maps are, for the most part, quite complicated. It really depends 
what you're installing. Now I personally think real Californian architecture is one of the coolest thing because it makes the game a little bit more realistic of the base material. So I'm going to show you how to install that next. But first what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to install script mods. So one script mod I'm going to show you how to install is open all interiors because that's an ASI file so it's really easy to install. And then the second one I'm going to show you how to install is simplezombies.net because that's a script file. So open all interiors this is an example of a .asi file so I'm going to show you how to install that and then simplezombies.net. On most of these mods you want to check in the description to see if they have any requirements so this requires native UI, scripthook5.net and scripthook5 which I've showed you how to install all of. So we're good to go in that regard so we're going to open up these files and we're going to back out. So for the zombie mod this is just a basic example of a script mod how to install into GTA 5. Go into the zombies mod and we have a few different files here. This is probably the easiest thing to install all we do is we go into the scripts folder in your GTA 5 folder and drag the zombiesmod.pdb and .dll into the folder and it's installed. That's how to basically install most script mods. Next up is open interiors. This is even easier. We can drop back into the normal base directory of GTA where GTA 5 is and drag open interiors ASI and INI files into this folder and that's how to install an ASI mod. So that's a script mod and an ASI mod player mod, a vehicle mod and a weapon mod all installed. So that's five different methods so far. The last one is how to install a map mod. This is what I'm going to show you next. So here we have real Californian architecture mod. So I'm going to show you how to install this. Now we have a dlc.rpf file, so what we're going to do is we're going to drag this to the desktop because the only way we can open this up is if we use OpenIV. It's not possible to open up an RPF file without OpenIV. So now I'm going to put this on my desktop below here, you'll see at the bottom below the folders. So in OpenIV, what you want to do is you want to go to your mods folder, update x64 DLC packs and drag this dlc.rpf in there just so we can mess around with it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to extract all these files to the desktop because now we have this open in OpenIV. So now we can go back and we can delete this DLC RPF because we don't need it. We just needed to put it there so we could open it up. So now we can open up the file we've just got and we have all the files here. So now we have this x64 file or folder on the desktop. You want to rename this and rename it to RCA. Now this isn't really going to have to be the case with other mods. You don't have to rename it. I'm just renaming it because this mod requires it. And then I'm going to drag this in the DLC packs folder. Then go back to mods update and we're going to edit the DLC list like we did earlier and go to the bottom we're going to copy one of the lines and what we're going to do is we're going to rename it and type in the name of the folder we just installed i renamed it to rca so i'm going to call this rca and click save and now we have this rca file which has been loaded and when we click in rca we have all the different rpf files for the mod so we have hollywood industry city hills all these different things which should theoretically replace the game i'm going to drag these xml files in here and then delete them and that's how to install a map mod. So I've gone through how to install each and every type of mod in Grand Theft Auto, how to use add-on pads, how to install the two different types of script hook, native UI, and how to install player models, map mods, script mods, and vehicle and weapon replacers. All in all, I've showed you six different types of mods, how to install them, and three to four different methods and tools on what to use to actually install them correctly and appropriately. Obviously, all mods will vary a little bit, so if there's a README or an installation text file that comes with the mod, I recommend recommend do read that because this is kind of a basic guideline tutorial. Some mods that you install through OpenIV, which I've showed, are more complex than say script mods, so obviously they will vary where to install them and what names to call the folders etc. So it might mess them up if you don't read the readmes that come with the mod files. If this tutorial was helpful, definitely make sure to smash the like button and click subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future daily GT5 and gaming videos on the channel. Thanks a lot for watching guys. And I'll see you next time.